Hi guys, this is Andrew and welcome to the next video on AF Swift tutorials. This time I'd like to tell you about the dependency injection. Many developers fear of the term dependency injection, but the reality is it's a really fundamental pattern that is easy to adopt and follow. Dependency injection means giving an object its instance variables. Dependency injection allows us to write code that is loosely coupled and as such easier to reuse, to mock and to test. There is a very good quote about dependency injection. Dependency injection is a $25 term for a 5 cent concept. By injecting the dependencies of an object, the responsibilities and requirements of the class or structure becomes more clear and more transparent. Unit testing is so much easier with dependency injection. Dependency injection makes it's very easy to replace an object dependencies with mock objects, making unit testing easier to set up and isolate behavior. Another subtle benefit of dependency injection is a stricter separation of concerns. Many developers consider three forms of dependency injection. It's initializer injection, property injection, and a method injection. Initializer injection. The most important benefit is that dependencies passed in during initialization can be made immutable. The benefits of it, it ensures that the object has everything it needs after the initialization process. It hides dependencies as private and or internal. The downside requires object to have initializer with all the parameters needed and also more code needed in the object initializer to transfer parameters to object properties. Property injection. Dependencies can also be injected by declaring an internal or public property on the class or structure that requires the dependency. It may seem convenient, but the pro those properties could be replaced or modified at a runtime. The benefits of it, it's clear and a very lightweight. The downside, it exposes internal and public variables. It's harder to ensure that the object has everything it needs to do the job. And moreover, the registration side of the fence. It means we need to register the properties after the initialization. Method injection. Dependencies can also be injected whenever they are needed. This is easy to do using a method that accepts the dependency as a parameter. The benefit of it, it allows to configure the behavior of a method on a fly. Also, it allows to construct their own behaviors and path them into the method. The downside of method initialization, it exposes the behaviors to all of the classes that use it. For this tutorial, I will create a network servicing protocol and a class that adopts the protocol called network service. And also, I've created four view models that will be using different types of dependency injection. For the first view model, I will create a property that does not use a dependency injection but initializer the network service inside of the class. The downside of this approach that view model 1 knows about network service and knows how to initialize it. For initializer injection 2, we can create a service private because it will be using initialize injection and then we will create a separate method to fetch the data because for private service we won't be able to use it outside of a view model to scope. For property injection, I'll just create an internal type that will be available out of the scope with the optional type network servicing. 
and for method injection our fetch data function will be injecting the service and doing uh, the load data inside of that method. Alright, so now we have all types of dependency injection. So now let's take a look on initialization of all of those classes. All our view models work just fine, but here's an interesting thing to notice with the view model 3. If we try to access service before the initialization, we're getting nil, and compiler won't help us here go because the service is marked as optional. So we need to make sure that we're trying to access the service after we initialized it with a network service. So that's it with a dependency injection pattern. If you find this video useful, give it a like, consider subscribing to this channel for more videos, and thank you for watching, and I will see you next episode. Goodbye.